Hi, this is Jin at Display Block. I have here Samsung's SPH-W6050. What a mouthful. But this is a really high-end smartphone uh, that's only available in South Korea for about 800,000 to 900,000 won, which is about 700 US dollars. Now, this comes with a touch screen it's about it's three inches and has a, a pixel format of 800 by 480 and uh, as you can see there's a little antenna that you can stick to it it has a DMB technology so you can watch TV uh, while you're moving about it's something that we don't have in the United States <laughs> unless you're subscribed and it goes comes via a data channel this is just a TV channel uh, it has an internet browser, haptic user interface, and let me see if I can turn it back on. I can't turn it back on because it's so confusing. How are you supposed to turn this thing on? How do you turn it on? It's a mystery. That rubbery thing, press it. Yes. Ooh, rubbery thing. It says, touch. Changum Heje, which means you know to unlock, touch this little button right here. Uh no, that wasn't the button. Touch it to kill you, do lo. Uh rubbery thing. You have to touch the rubbery thing for a while. There you go. Not quite as user friendly as an iPhone, but it's uh it's it's, it's okay. So here it says dial. So you can dial. And then uh, to go back, I guess I could push the uh, end button. That's uh, contacts. Uh, sh sure, okay. It's not as easy again. Mm, no. Uh, yes, actually. Yes. And then there's a, a message button. So you can have uh, messages there. Uh, there you go. There's a lot of messages. We won't look at them. This is my brother's phone. And then finally, um, settings. Now it has. It's very interesting. Uh, the settings. This. <laughs> the settings screen is pretty interesting. It's kind of the uh, iPhone layout, but the icons are are a little uh, cutesy, and the background is black. And uh, you, you can see TV, you can see game, uh, camera, album. You can change this. Yeah, you, you can change that too, my brother says. These are the different settings. Oh, different settings. You can do that. That. Oh, look at that. Let's try this one. This is kind of cool. Okay. Check this out now. Hey, look at that. Oh. Oh, oh. That is cool. It's kind of like a Rubik's Cube, but with different uh, settings on e each uh, side. Wow, that is cool. Nice. Yeah. Can we try another? Ooh. You can shake it. Wow, that's pretty cool. But you don't know exactly what you're going to get. That's like the beauty of it. It's all <laughs> random. <laughs> it's all random. So not for the professionals. <laughs> okay. How about another uh, another thing? No, this is, I think this is the best one. Okay. All right, that's cool. And so on this side, we have uh, micro SD. Uh, on this side, we have uh, zoom in and out and uh, a whole button, a picture shutter button, and then the uh, DMB antenna cover. And on top, we have the proprietary uh, headphone socket on the back if you actually look at it from this side it actually just looks like a regular digital camera and it basically is because it's five megapixels but my brother was telling me that it there's a little shutter lag so you have to be very still the the object that you're you're trying to take a picture of needs to be very still uh, because it does have some some shutter lag so anyway so this was a quick lightning review of Samsung's HP8 SPHW6050. It's a uh, three inch 
uh, WVGA, which is 800 by 480 resolution LCD display with touch haptic. This is Jin at Display Blog. Thanks for watching.